Hello, hello, it's me, the Metaverse Explorer, and I am here to show you how to get involved with Arbitrum Nova and how to be a good Web3 participant. So I don't know if you know, but Arbitrum is a layer two on Ethereum. I was just about to say Solana. Oh my God, you guys would have been really crazy at me. So if you're watching this from Reddit, if you're interested in how to get your moons off Reddit and possibly cash out or even learn how to use a bridge or how to use crypto in general, this is a good enough video for you. So I'm going to give you a few information, then we're going to walk through it. I'm going to show you what you can do on Nova at the moment. So it's time for a new dawn. Nova is open to the public. So Nova is open to the public. Reddit is launching their community point system on Nova. And we know these are the moons. Everyone loves moons, right? Well, actually, not a lot of people love moons because it can be exploited very, very easily. Ugh. Um, you can bridge to Nova and learn about Nova. Let's read a bit more about it. So Nova is generally more geared towards, um, uh, they're saying it's perfectly suited for gaming and social projects, projects with very high transaction volumes that seek to drive uh, costs even lower. So this is the transaction cost, but still want high security, high security because it uses Ethereum as a consensus layer. Now, we all know in crypto, there is a trifecta, there's security, um, there's uh, transaction speed, there's speed of it. And then of course there's uh, scalability and sometimes you have to sacrifice one of these things. Um, at the moment, uh, you can bring your, uh, uh, sorry, I should read as it goes along, right? It's been a, uh, for a big month for Arbitrum community. Last week we announced, they announced uh, the uh, mainnet migration plans for bringing Arbitrum 1 to Nitro, a set for 30th, 31st of August. So there's lots of different actual moving parts of this, right? So there's uh, Ethereum, which is the base layer, layer one. The layer two is Arbitrum. Uh, Arbitrum started out being Arbitrum one and then Arbitrum Nitro, which is like a, a side of it. And now we have Arbitrum Nova. Arbitrum Nova being like a third layer or like a layer four, whatever you want to call it, right? It works in parallel to Arbitrum. Um, and today they're opening a brand new chain to the public that will be the home of Reddit's community point system. So we don't actually know if there's going to be lots of other stuff happening on Nova apart from the social and uh, Reddit community point system. But hey, I'm happy to find out, right? Some of the best teams in the industry came together to form the initial committee, including Consensus, FTX, Google Cloud, Offchain, P2P, QuickNode, and Reddit. Um, firstly, you can bridge over to Nitro uh, to Nova using the Arbitrum bridge. Now, guys, let's walk you through it. This is the Arbitrum Nova website. You can bridge to Nova there, and you can visit the Block Explorer and look at their docs. There is a portal as well. Who is Nova for? Game developers. Nova is perfect for games where where user actions can mint uh, where user actions can mint items on chain at a high frequency uh, from currency to personalized assets. Social projects, uh, Reddit's community point system is built on Nova, where social applications with many levers uh, for on-chain applications are right at home, and for blockchain dApps, of course, from NFT ecosystems with high volume requirements to other projects open to off-chain data storage. Now, guys, I want to reiterate, this is like a high transaction throughput uh, a chain, uh, Arbitrum Nova. It's not like Ethereum where there's a block that's processed every 15 seconds, which takes way too long, in my opinion. Now, there is um, a, an onboarding process. You can go ahead and bridge your tokens straight from Ethereum mainnet onto Arbitrum Nova. And this is the button at the top right here where it says bridge to Nova. You go ahead there, you connect your own Ethereum wallet. Um, I don't, I have one here. I'm going to disconnect and show you what it like, what it looks like. When you load up, if you're from watching from Reddit, uh, go ahead and get a MetaMask account to yourself. Load it up with Ethereum wherever you want to acquire it from and go ahead and log in to MetaMask. Okay, I'm going to log in here. That's it. So I'm logged in to my MetaMask now. I don't have any Ethereum on Arbitrum Nova. I do have Ethereum on Mainnet, as you can see here, 1.0.16. I'm going to go ahead and try and bridge some Ethereum so you guys can see what it's like. I'm going to bridge only 0.1. Excuse me here as I get rid of all of this. Sorry there, that's my mistake there. So I want to move 0.1 Ethereum, which is $188 at the moment. In gas fees, I will currently pay $1.75. Now, if you're savvy about this, you can actually time it well. This is called the uh, transaction street, which lets you visualize all the transactions happening on chain and see what gas price you should set for them, okay? Because this is like, uh, this is uh, eight GUI and it transacts every 15 seconds. 
you can go all the way down to let's say Forgue and see how long that might take you you can set the set the transaction to be cheaper and it might take you two minutes for that to happen so i'm going to transfer 0 0.1 um, ethereum and i'm going to transfer it to nova and i'm going to set the gas price to a lower price because i'm happy to wait i'm going to switch the network to ethereum and it's going to make me uh, 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 push that transaction. Not to Arbitrum 1, I want it to Nova. Oh, yes. So I already have some on Arbitrum 1. I wonder if I can go from Arbitrum 1 to Mainnet. Let me just have a look at that. Arbitrum 1 to uh, Arbitrum Nova. Oh, no, you can't. You can't move it. You can't. You can't. I want to. I actually wanted to go from Arbitrum One to Arbitrum Nova, but that's okay. Let's go from Mainnet to Nova. It's going to let me uh, move these funds here, which is the transaction uh, here. Let's go ahead and change the transaction fee itself. I'm going to go to Advanced, and this is the priority fee. Do not mess with the priority fee. Just change the max uh, uh, max base fee, which I'm going to put as six at the moment. I'm going to save that. That I'm really only saving like uh, sixty cents. Really, it's nothing much. I'm going to put it at five. Now, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that transaction so I can move 0.1 ETH from Arbitrum, um, uh, from Ethereum base layer to Arbitrum Nova. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the Blockchain Explorer. Look at this on the Explorer so we can see where it's going to go. According to this, it'll take about an hour on base layer on Ethereum for it to go to uh, Arbitrum 2, uh, Arbitrum, sorry, uh, Nova. While that's waiting, we can go ahead and look at the portal and see what we can do on Arbitrum at the moment. We're at six minutes, so I'm going to try and keep it fast. So this is the Arbitrum Nova portal. These are all the dApps that are currently live. Coinbase wallet you can use. DAI is a stable coin you can use. So if you get your moons and someone has a liquidity pool, you can take that and sell it in that liquidity pool for DAI if you want. Okay. FTX is already withdrawing onto Arbitrum. I am tokens, Sushi Swap, Reddit, Quicknode, MetaMask, we know, and USDC. Of course, we do need some stable coins. Dai and USDC are the premier stable coins at the moment. Maybe USDT. Let's actually have a look at Sushi. Sushi is a, um, a DeFi a DAP ecosystem uh, in Solana, in, in uh, Ethereum, and a lot of different places, being honest. So on the top right-hand corner, when you log in, you see that little button there? I'm going to zoom in so you can see that little button. This gives you all the different chains that you can experience Sushi on. And as you can see, there's Arbitrum and then there's Arbitrum Nova. Okay, click on Arbitrum Nova and move across onto the Arbitrum Nova chain. I'm going to switch network. And that's the Arbitrum Nova chain at the moment. Right now, you can actually, uh, they have bricks, they have die. These are your moons. If you're coming here for Reddit, these are your moons right there. I don't have any, of course, okay? You can transfer your moons and you can probably sell it to uh, USDC. One moon is 13, oh, 13 cents. Oh my God. You moon farmers out there are making heaps of money. Oh my God. If you got a thousand moons, that's $124. Holy crap. I don't even know where bricks are from, being honest. Where are bricks from? Bricks is probably from another a cryptocurrency subreddit. But anyway, these are the liquidity. Uh, this is the simple interface for you, right? We have Ethereum, bricks, DAI, moon, USDC, USDT. Uh, so far, I think this is the uh, best exchange on Arbitrum Nova at the moment. Other exchanges might be coming, maybe one inch or an aggregator or something like that. But Sushi is usually the 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 best place. Okay, I just it's easiest easiest place. Now, I just wanted to show you as well before we go. I can't believe you guys are farming moons and just like being able to sell it like this. My God, that's crazy. I should I should shit post on Reddit too. This is the Arbitrum Nova Explorer. Okay, it's called Block Scout. Um, basically, at the main page over here, you can over here, you look at click on Block Explorer and then it takes you right there. Let's have a look. There it is. It's saying the average block time is 5.9 seconds. What does that mean? That just means that every 5.9 seconds on an average might be six seconds, might be seven seconds. Um, there is a block produced. And in that block, there are lots of different transactions that are packed in there to be shipped and, and uh, executed. OK. Now, total block so far is 24,000 blocks. And how many wallet addresses are there on Arbitrum Nova? 257,000 addresses. Um, now, they're not individual people, but they are different addresses. So one person could have multiple addresses. It's not known if these are all you Reddit guys. Are these you? If you're a Reddit person and you've used Arbitrum Nova and you know how to work it, 
leave a comment down here below so we can continue to make content about it. I'm going to go ahead and go to the token section and look at all the tokens there are. We'll be able to get an idea. Moons, there's 165,000 wallets that have moons, okay? And we can see the total moon supply, which is crazy. There's 87,000 people that have bricks. There's 2,000 people that have USDC coin. And this is crazy, all right? There's only 31, uh, 31 million, no, 31,000 of USDC on Arbitrum Nova, which is actually a very small amount, being honest, and only 10,000 die as well. Now, here is a SushiSwap LP tokens, SLP tokens, right? The You can go there and see the actual uh, 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 tokens in these in this uh, token LP pool. Hopefully, you should be able to see it. This is wrapped ETH and USDC pool. Awesome. So there's six wrapped ETH in this pool and 10,000. And you can go to SushiSwap and see this, right? This is that pool and... What was it? Wrapped ETH and uh, I lost it. I lost it. Uh, it's a wrapped ETH and something else. Wrapped ETH and USDC. I think it's this pool right here. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. That's actually uh, just an intro into Arbitrum Nova. Feel free to go to the Blockchain Explorer and feel free to snoop around, see what's happening. Go ahead and look at the Arbitrum Nova portal and there will be updating new uh, new uh, um, dApps for you to use. If you're from Reddit, please, I'm a very small content creator. Like and subscribe to the video. Please share it around if you want to. Um, and I will continue to make Arbitrum videos because I'm interested in Arbitrum Nova. I'm interested in Arbitrum 1 and of course Arbitrum Odyssey, which I've made videos about before. Make sure you check out those videos uh, next up. All right, that's it for now. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for liking. Oh, Mr. Dancing Pepe just hit, made it here just in time. It, he's very sad during the bear market. Uh, he's very upset. You can see how, how he's dancing. Goodbye, Mr. Pepe. Uh, ciao for now, guys. Ciao for now.